In this video, we're going to talk about bouncing. Bouncing is the process of exporting the mix that we've done and creating a single file that someone else can listen to easily. When your mix is complete, you'll need to select what you want to bounce out of Pro Tools. If I have a single highlighted file, that's the only section of time that Pro Tools will bounce. In this case, I want all of the work that I've done in the project. The clips, where they're at in time, all the volume changes that I've made, I want all of those bounced out to a single file. The easiest way to do that is to select the first clip in your mix by clicking on it. Hold your shift key and click on the very last clip in your mix. And once you've done that, hold shift and click anywhere on the gradient gray line just under the timeline. And once you've done that, you've selected the very beginning, the very end, and everything in between. From there, click on File, Bounce to Disk. That's going to open up the Bounced Disk dialog box. In this dialog box, use the following settings. File Type Wave, File Format, Choose Interleaved, Bit Depth, 16-bit, Sample Rate, 48 kilohertz. If you need an MP3 as well, go ahead and click on Add MP3. In the File Name box, name your file whatever you'd like for it to be. I continue my year, month, day name nomenclature here. Notice that I use the words bounce one. Quite often you're rendering your project more than one time. It's better to use version numbers than to write the word final. Rarely is a render or a bounce or an edit the final anything when you're working with others and you'll end up with files called final final or final 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 or final 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 final, which can be confusing and a real pain to sort through. Using version numbers is kind of getting ahead of that, so you know the most recent version of your mix is the latest number, so I highly recommend using this naming convention. You don't need to choose a directory. There's a Bounced Files folder automatically created in your Pro Tools project folder, and that's the default folder picked here. So once we render this file, the audio file that we create will automatically be there. Make sure that offline is checked. That will speed up the time it takes to bounce your project. If this box is unchecked, if your project's five minutes long, it'll take five minutes to bounce. If it's an hour, it'll take an hour to bounce. So make sure offline is checked. Then hit bounce. If you have MP3 selected, it'll ask you for the encoding speed and bit rate I recommend fastest and 320 kilobits per second, and you can put in whatever information you want into the ID3 tag. Usually I just put the name. Click OK. And that's it. This file has been bounced. If we look at the project folder for this session, and then look in the bounced files folder, we'll see that we have a number of files here. The one that I just rendered is right here. We'll see the WAV file that was bounced, and we'll see the MP3 that was bounced. It's always a good idea to render a WAV file. They're uncompressed audio files, and they sound significantly better than MP3s do, and they're far superior to edit and work with than MP3s are, as MP3s are lossy file types, and you actually lose audio quality every time you save and work with an MP3 file. MP3 files are fine if someone needs a deliverable to play back, and honestly, MP3 files are fine for whoever wants them. But for archiving and working with, you should always have a WAV file. And that's how you bounce files out of Pro Tools.